Thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Visit omaze.com slash Porsche. After some delays, Tesla has finally offered a new, cheaper way for owners to get their hands on the most important software feature for their car, full self-driving capability. But there are some interesting caveats to keep in mind to find out how much it really costs and if it's actually worth it. Now, Tesla's offer of full self-driving has changed a lot in the past few years. Five years ago, Tesla was offering two software upgrades, enhanced autopilot and full self-driving capability. Now, the enhanced autopilot upgrade was a more advanced version of the basic autopilot system, and it cost $5,000 if purchased during the initial order of the car, but cost $6,000 if purchased after delivery. Now, enhanced autopilot was a suite of features that made up most of what the current full self-driving is today, with the primary feature being navigate on autopilot, which mainly suggests automatic lane changes to optimize the route and will automatically steer the vehicle toward highway interchanges and exits based on the destination entered in the navigation system. Now, the rest of the features included auto lane change, auto park, and summon. Now, back then, Enhanced Autopilot was well worth it for $5,000 in my opinion, and I actually added that to my Model 3 when I ordered it in 2018. Now, Enhanced Autopilot was actually required if the owner wanted to purchase the full self-driving edition, and that cost $3,000 during the initial order of the car, or $4,000 if it was purchased after delivery. Now, according to Tesla, the full self-driving capability software add-on would eventually allow the car to drive itself in all conditions and Tesla's main selling point for this was to insist that the price of full self-driving capability would steadily increase over time, so there was urgency for customers to lock in full self-driving at what appeared to be the lowest price it would ever be offered at. Well, over time, Tesla did what they said they were going to do, and they slowly increased the price of full self-driving while also rearranging how they offered it. They eventually removed enhanced autopilot altogether and made basic autopilot standard on all Teslas. Basic Autopilot includes traffic aware cruise control to keep a set speed and auto steer to keep the car within lane markings. Now when Basic Autopilot was made standard on all Tesla vehicles, Tesla also removed the option for Enhanced Autopilot and consolidated all the advanced autopilot features under the full self-driving capability software upgrade and put a price tag of $10,000 on it, which is what it currently costs. Now, the $10,000 FSD software upgrade includes all the features that made up the old enhanced autopilot with the addition of the full self-driving computer, traffic light and stop sign control, and a future promise feature of auto steer on city streets, which is a feature that was supposed to come years ago, but as Elon recently mentioned on Twitter, generalized self-driving is a hard problem as it requires solving a large part of real world AI. Didn't expect it to be so hard. Now you've probably seen some YouTube videos recently about this auto steer and city driving feature, which is mainly referred to as FSD Beta 9, and that's currently only enabled on a small number of Tesla vehicles that are testing it in the wild before it gets published to all Tesla vehicles sometime this year, hopefully. Elon actually tweeted, wide beta maybe with FSD 10, definitely with 11. So who knows when that will be since there hasn't been a major software release at all this year in 2021 so far. By the way, that reminds me, I'm still waiting on part two of that double fire holiday software update. So obviously $10,000 is a large amount of money in general, but especially for a software upgrade that's called full self-driving that is still in beta and requires user supervision at all times and intervention when the car does something wrong. However, Elon Musk considered $10,000 to be a pretty great deal for Tesla owners given that it would allow the owner to potentially earn income by allowing the car to drive around and take passengers to their destinations, sort of like a self-driving Uber service, which will be called the Tesla RoboTaxi network when it comes out. Now, Using this logic, Elon tried to argue two years ago that Tesla's with the full self-driving capability software upgrade would be, quote, appreciating assets when full self-driving is finalized and legalized, whenever that may be, and those cars should be worth $100,000 to $200,000 if used up to 60 hours per week as a robo-taxi. Now, as laughable as that may be to some people, there were many Tesla owners who decided that it was a good idea to buy full self-driving capability at $10,000 with the belief that it would be worth it and that Tesla would deliver level five autonomy at some point during their car ownership because the other catch is full self-driving stays with the car, not the owner. So if a Tesla owner pays $10,000 for full self-driving and decides to sell their car or trade it in for a newer Tesla in the future, 
they will have to repurchase FSD for their new Tesla, which would cost another $10,000. To combat this high price tag and possibly the low number of current FSD buyers, Tesla has now officially rolled out their subscription offerings for full self-driving. But before we continue, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Omaze, who gives away prizes and experiences while donating money to charities. Now, Omaze is giving away a one-of-a-kind 1968 Porsche 912 that has been converted to an EV by Zelectric. Now, this unique 912 comes in a white exterior with 917-inspired green graphics, a black and white houndstooth interior that seats up to four people, and it has 300 horsepower that helps it go 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds, which is what my Model 3 does, and trust me, that is fast. Now, it's the perfect mix of vintage racing and modern sustainability. For this giveaway, Omaze has partnered with Peterson Automotive Museum, which explores and presents the history of the automobile and its impact on global life and culture. It's a progressive center for automotive research and collecting, which includes reaching underserved communities. Now, your donation supports the museum to extend its education programs and aid in the development of new exhibitions, events, and activities. Now, to potentially win the all-electric Porsche 912 and support a great cause, Go to omaze.com slash Andy Sly Porsche. That link is also in the description below. Now, Elon tweeted at the end of last year that the FSD subscription model would be coming in early 2021, so it's only a few months late, but hey, it is here. And that happens quite often, actually. Tesla always seems to deliver on what they promise, but it's not always on time. Now, back when it was announced, I tweeted my best prediction of the monthly FSD subscription price, and it turns out I was right on the money with my guess of $199 a month. So now, full self-driving capability can be purchased for a one-time fee of $10,000, or if your Tesla has an FSD computer 3.0 or above, you can subscribe to FSD capability from the Tesla app or your Tesla account for the following price. $199 a month if you only have basic autopilot, or $99 a month if you previously purchased Enhanced Autopilot when it was offered in the past. Now you can check your Autopilot configuration from your vehicle's touchscreen by selecting Controls, Software, Additional Vehicle Information. Now an important thing to note is that hardware upgrades to the full self-driving computer are not included with the full self-driving capability subscriptions. Now, to be eligible for FSD capability subscriptions, the FSD 3.0 computer must be installed in your vehicle. If you own a vehicle without the FSD computer, also referred to as Hardware 3.0, you can still order the monthly subscription, but you'll have to schedule a Tesla appointment and pony up $1,500 for the computer upgrade. But the interesting thing is, if you buy full self-driving capability outright, the FSD computer installation is included for free in that $10,000 cost. So for most Tesla owners, you'll have to figure out if your car is equipped with the FSD 3.0 computer or if it's an older 2.0 or 2.5 computer. I believe the first availability of hardware 3.0 was around April of 2019. Now, I bought my Model 3 in 2018, so it came with hardware 2.5, but since I bought the FSD capability software upgrade in 2019 when they briefly offered it for $2,000, that means as an FSD outright owner, I was eligible for a free upgrade to the hardware 3.0 computer last year, which Tesla installed at no cost to me. However, the funny thing is that five years ago in late 2016, Tesla released a blog post titled, all Tesla cars being produced now have full self-driving hardware. And they went on to say, we are excited to announce that as of today, all Tesla vehicles produced in our factory, including Model 3, will have the hardware needed for full self-driving capability at a safety level substantially greater than that of a human driver. Then years later, Tesla realized they would need a more powerful computer, which they called Hardware 3.0, and started replacing all the older computers for the FSD owners. So my question is, what if there's a need for Hardware 3.5 or Hardware 4.0 in the future? If a Tesla owner who currently has Hardware 2.5 with basic autopilot and they decide to pay $1,500 for the FSD computer upgrade and then pay $199 a month for FSD, will they need to pay again if a new computer comes out? Hopefully, Hardware 3.0 is the final FSD computer needed for full level 5 autonomy, but we'll have to wait and find out. However, the biggest question right now may be, is it worth it to pay the monthly subscription fee for full self-driving? Well, the people like me who ended up getting FSD capability for a total of $7,000 actually may end up having the best deal because 
that $7,000 included free hardware upgrades to any future FSD computer. So compared to someone who has to pay $1,500 for the hardware 3.0 computer, that leaves $5,500, which is equal to about 28 months of an FSD subscription. So for me, after driving two years and four months, I'm basically past the point of covering that cost. And now for every month after that, it's like having free full self-driving capability. If you already have the hardware 3.0 computer, then it would take four years and two months of driving with the FSD subscription to break even on the current $10,000 price of FSD. So in my opinion, if you don't plan to keep your Tesla for more than five years, it makes sense to just do the FSD subscription because it is monthly canceled at any time. I think for most people, if you don't drive a ton, then basic autopilot will suffice for right now until FSD beta nine is more polished and released to the public. Now for me, the main useful features of FSD are navigate on autopilot and auto lane changes. And after driving 85,000 miles in my Tesla, the rest of the FSD features are either used very sparingly or not desperately needed until the car can handle more driving tasks by itself. I think a good scenario for utilizing the FSD subscription would be if you're about to go on a long road trip and you pay $199 for that month only and use it for that trip and then cancel it and go back to using basic autopilot for your normal daily driving. I think most Tesla owners will want to experience what FSD is like at some point, but not have to pay five figures for it, which is where the new FSD subscription model shines. On the other hand, if you're really bullish and optimistic about Tesla's delivery of level five autonomy and the regulatory approval surrounding it, and if you drive a lot and plan to keep your Tesla for a fairly long time, then it may make sense to just purchase FSD outright for $10,000 before it potentially goes up again. However, I personally don't think it will increase drastically anytime soon, but more so whenever level five is very close to being finalized. Now, I mainly bought FSD so that I could track the progress and share it with you via my YouTube videos, and also because I do drive way more than the average driver and plan to keep my Model 3 for at least 10 years, so I've definitely gotten my use out of it. But for people who aren't YouTubers, uh, who aren't driving a lot, and instead are upgrading their Tesla every two to three years, then it makes sense to just do the FSD monthly subscription every now and then when you will be driving a lot. The only thing to consider is that the monthly price will probably increase as well. So $199 a month is probably the cheapest monthly price that it's going to be uh, until it increases whenever they are close to finalizing FSD to full level five autonomy. Now, what do you think of the new FSD pricing and the state of full self-driving? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Andy. Thank you for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more Tesla and tech videos in the future. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Visit omaze.com slash Andy Sly Porsche.